Hello viewers, welcome to this video. This video is going to be a follow-up video to this one, Kubernetes Ingress, which I did previously. I will add a link uh, to this video in the video description. So what I did in this video is shown you how to add the Ingress class name field to your Ingress resource, otherwise it won't work. So the original video was this one, Q59.2. So if you followed the steps in this video, it won't work. The Ingress resource won't work uh, because the Ingress class we deployed wasn't the default Ingress class. So you have to specify the Ingress class name field to point out which Ingress class you want to use, otherwise it won't work. So that's what exactly we did in this video. So we modified our Ingress resource we added the ingress class name field and we set that to nginx because the ingress class we had was nginx okay so that's the video what i'm going to be doing in this video is show you how to make an ingress class the default class so you don't have to add this ingress class name field to every single ingress resource you deploy so you just make an ingress class a default one so all the ingress resource you deploy will use that ingress class so you don't have to specify this anymore okay so the reason why you would use this ingress class name field in an ingress resource is if you've got more than one ingress controller if you want to use for some reason multiple ingress controllers in your kubernetes cluster at which point you can make one of them the default ingress class so all the ingress resource that you deploy that doesn't have the ingress class name will make use of the default ingress class but if you want to specifically target your ingress to a particular ingress controller then you can add the ingress class name field but anyways for this video let's do the other way i want to make this uh, ingress class the default class so that i don't want to specify that in my every single ingress resource all right so i've got my kubernetes cluster i've also got the metal lb deployed for my load balancing solution it's exactly the same step that i followed in the uh, in my previous video all right so i don't want to bore you guys uh, by doing those same steps again in this video so the same kubernetes cluster the same steps i followed for deploying metal lb and now i'm going to deploy the ingress controller exactly like what i did in my previous video so going back to the web browser i'm going to search for kubernetes ingress nginx and this one here installation guide and the command that i used was this one helm upgrade by the way i already got helm installed helm version 3 binary downloaded to my on my system so if i do which helm i've got helm installed and i'm going to paste that command as it is so we're going to deploy nginx ingress with its default configuration okay so the helm install command completed let's take a look at what we have in the ingress nginx namespace so there's this nginx ingress controller pod coming up and we have the ingress nginx controller service and we have this load balancer ip handed out by our metal lb deployment metal lb pod okay so everything looks good to me right so if i do kubectl get ingress class so you see when we deploy the nginx ingress controller it has automatically created an ingress class named nginx and if i do kubectl describe ingress class nginx you can see labels annotations and the controller that's using it. it's the in nginx ingress ingress nginx controller okay so that's how it's mapped this ingress class nginx is mapped to is associated with this ingress nginx controller all right so i'm uh, going to cd to my kubernetes repository directory that i checked out that i cloned if i do git remote dash v so that's my kubernetes repository just me an open source kubernetes which i have cloned and in here if i go to yamls and then to ingress demo so the the manifest that i've been using is here and i'm going to deploy this nginx deploy main kubectl create minus f nginx deploy main so it's just a simple nginx pod kubectl get all right so our nginx deployment nginx pod is coming up and i'm also going to expose that expose deploy nginx on port 80 kubectl get all so we have our nginx pod running we have exposed the deployment as service of type cluster ip so that's fine if i do 
ingress nginx get all the ingress nginx controller service has got a load balancer ip of 172.16.16.240 so that's the ip address we will be using so map that ip address to any ingress host name that you want to use so that's going to be your single ip address that is going to route the traffic that's how you get into the kubernetes cluster okay so i'm going to map 172.16.16.240 to nginx.example.com in my local etc host file just to make sure that i've added it correctly so whenever I hit nginx.example.com, it will take me to 172.16.16.240. So it's poor man's DNS. So I don't have a DNS server. It's not a public DNS or anything. So on my local system, in your system, if you do nginx.example.com, it wouldn't know where to go unless you add it to etc host file. In my case, I'm just assigning nginx.example.com to 172.16.16.240. So what is missing? So we have deployed the nginx deployment. We have exposed it. So we've got a service now. And last time we did this one ingress resource one.yaml. We created that. We deployed the ingress resource. So we have the ingress controller, we have the deployment, we have the service. Now we need to deploy the ingress resource. So if I show you ingress resource one.yaml, okay, so this option here, ingress class name is nginx. This is what I added. Uh, in my previous video without this it won't work okay so let's prove that so I'm commenting that out kubectl create ingress resource one.yaml that's created kubectl get ingress so we have that ingress it's pointing to nginx.example.com the host is nginx.example.com kubectl describe ingress so traffic to nginx.example.com will be routed to nginx deploy main service on port 80 if i do a kubectl get service so we have this nginx deploy main service on port 80 okay so we've deployed the nginx ingress controller we've deployed the nginx we have exposed it as a cluster ip service we have created an ingress route to tell nginx ingress controller how to route the traffic and everything but is it going to work no because we haven't specified the ingress class name but let's check so nginx.example.com you see 404 not found okay so instead of adding the ingress class name instead of specifying the ingress class name in each of your ingress resource what i'm going to do now is i'm going to modify the ingress class kubectl we have one nginx ingress class that was deployed as part of the helm ingress nginx ingress deployment okay so i'm going to modify this one kubectl edit ingress class nginx okay so now i need to make this ingress class the default ingress class so how do i do that i need to add an annotation to make it the default ingress class so for that i'm going to refer kubernetes documentation So ingress Kubernetes and on the right here it says default ingress class. So if you want to make a particular ingress class default, we just need to add this annotation. Alright, so the annotation is here. Ingress class.kubernetes.io slash is default class set to true. Okay, let's add that and see how it works. But before that, let me show you where to look on what happened. Okay. So kubectl get ingress so we have that ingress and trying to curl nginx.example.com you get 404 not found so how would you troubleshoot without knowing so you didn't know that you need to add the ingress class name how would you troubleshoot so you have deployed an ingress resource and you are trying to access the host name configured in the ingress but the ingress controller is not routing to the right backend service so how would you troubleshoot so basically you got to go to the the ingress controller part and look at the logs that's it so i'm going to go to ingress nginx logs and if i look at the logs for the nginx ingress controller it says ignoring ingress ingress resource one the, the ingress that we deployed has been ignored because ingress does not contain a valid ingress class okay so that's better that's how you would know what's going on with this what's wrong with this particular ingress and why isn't why it isn't working let's go back to the documentation and if you want to make an ingress class default we just need to add this annotation so i'm going to copy that 
I'm going to edit the ingress class nginx and annotation all right save kubectl describe ingress class nginx so now you can see the annotation is default class is true okay so will we be able to access nginx.example.com now no so I'm going to delete the ingress resource one.yaml that we deployed and I'm going to recreate it okay that's done and I'm going to check the uh, the nginx ingress controller pod logs okay so now you can see configuration changes successfully validated the configuration accepting the default ingress resource one backend reload required okay so backend successfully reloaded and it looks okay to me okay configuration changes found valid ingress class so that's the important bit successfully validated the configuration accepting the ingress found valid ingress class so to me it all works good the the, the ingress controller pod locks are clean so now we should be able to access it curl and there you go we see the nginx welcome page okay so let me delete the ingress resource so okay so what we did was we deployed the nginx ingress controller via helm with its default configuration and then we edited the default ingress class and made it default by adding an annotation all right so how would you do that at the time of installation so for that i'm going to uninstall the ingress nginx that we deployed kubectl minus n ingress nginx get on so it's terminating the pod let's also delete the namespace ingress nginx okay so if i go back to the documentation here what we basically need to do is I'm going to copy the same command but instead of installing the chart directly I'm going to fetch the values for the ingress nginx chart and I'm going to see if there is any option to make the ingress class the default okay so our kubectl get all that's all there but the ingress nginx namespace has been completely deleted so helm list dash a we don't have anything all right so if I paste that command going to delete these things and then I'm going to delete the ingress the release name we don't want that helm show values so basically what I'm doing here is helm show values I'm just fetching the values for this ingress chart ingress nginx chart and the repository helm repository is this one and I'm going to redirect that to a temporary file temp ingress nginx values dot yaml all right so if i edit that now okay so that should be ingress somewhere if i keep searching for ingress resource there it is ingress class name so that's the name of the ingress class that will be deployed uh, by running this helm install command the name of the ingress class will be nginx enabled is true default is false so that's what it is so i'm going to change the default to true so it's going to deploy the ingress class and make it default so that's all i'm going to do so save that file and basically going to run the same command again okay and at the end i'm going to pass minus minus values temp ingress nginx values.yaml okay so that's done kubectl minus n ingress nginx get all that's running kubectl get ingress class we have nginx kubectl describe ingress class nginx so that we can see we haven't edited this ingress class manually it's all done by the helm installation so this ingress class nginx ingress class is the default class now again we have a deployment we have the service but we don't have any ingress defined and again we don't have the ingress class name specified in the ingress resource we have connected that out 
kubectl create let's create the ingress resource and let's take a look at the pod log ingress nginx logs and found valid ingress class successfully validated the configuration accepting so it has accepted the ingress and it has reloaded the ingress controller configuration so we should be able to access nginx.example.com and we have the nginx welcome page okay so that's it that's it for this video i just wanted to show you the other option not just adding the ingress class name to the ingress resource if you have to do that you have to do that on all the ingress that you deploy in your cluster so the easiest way would be to make if you're just using one ingress controller so you would have just one ingress class just make that ingress class default so that saves you some time uh, by not having to add the ingress class name field in every single ingress resource that you deploy in your cluster okay cool that's it for this video i will see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye